Hey everybody, it's me, Jackie Armand. I'm back again with another uh, spooky craft video. Uh, <clears throat> today, <clears throat> I'm sure you all probably out there were anticipating me making some kind of a Barbie themed craft because you know, because it, the Barbie movie is out. Well, you're not getting that. <laughs> Uh, instead, actually, I'm going to work on a project towards uh, me and my husband's Halloween party that we're having this year. We're doing a Trapped in a Video Game themed Halloween party. If you want to see the planning video for that, by the way, I will link to its this party's playlist that is uh, in uh, that is on my channel. It has the planning video that where I go through everything that I want to do for it, and then also I have a video of another project that I worked on, which was the Crash Bandicoot crates. So you can kind of check that out and see my progress towards this party. But yeah, basically we are just going to, uh, I'm, uh, what I want to make is a Mario Piranha Plant candy holder. This idea I came across on Pinterest when I was finding ideas for the party. And um, it holds, most of the pictures had it holding those um, fireball candies, which I kind of thought was pretty clever. <laughs> uh, and so I want to try and make one. Um, no tutorials I found on really how to make this thing, just inspiration pictures. So we're just going to futz and figure it out. <laughs> uh, which, you know, if any of my other videos is any indication how it might go, we're probably in for a wild ride, but hey, that's what makes it fun around here. Am I right? <laughs> anyway, um, so basically I'll just show you in a little bit the idea that I have about how to achieve this thing, um, the supplies that I've got to try to achieve it, and we'll figure it out. We'll see if we can make it work. Um, but before we get into that, I would like to say that if, if this is the kind of content you like, if you like crafting, you like tutorials, you like costuming, uh, and sometimes uh, spooky recipes, and just pretty much anything all around spooky, uh, that you would give this video a thumbs up. And you would also hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. Halloween all year long here, not just in October, so if you like that, then stick with us because it is a lot of spooky fun on this channel. Uh, also, if you would like to support this channel in a little more personal way than just hitting that subscribe button, uh, I have a Patreon. Even if you can donate the highest, which is like $10 a month, to even just the lowest of $3 a month, it helps out this channel so, so much. Uh, it allows me to do more, to get more supplies, and you know, also the support kind of goes towards uh, Lydia getting some treats, so I'm sure she would appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, also as uh, in addition to supporting this channel, which is a super cool thing to do, uh, there are lots of extra goodies on Patreon, including monthly giveaways that you can be a part of, and also extra content. I have a a series that is specific to Patreon uh, called Terror Tube. It's a horror host type show hosted by me, uh, where we do just a bunch of extra spooky stuff. The latest episode, which I think dropped about, about a week ago, uh, is me reviewing one of my favorite, uh, Disney Channel original Halloween movies, Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire. Uh, if you've never seen that movie, if you have seen it, uh, it, I feel like it would definitely be worth checking out uh, if you want to see what my thoughts are about it. Um, and uh, actually, here's a little sneak peek of it right now. So here you go. Welcome to another episode of Terror Suit. Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire, a Disney Channel original movie starring Caroline Ray. Enough! Our love is more powerful than a vampire's trance. Come to me. Come to me, Maria. Come on, ladies. Find you a... Find you a man whose love is stronger than a vampire trance. Am I right? <laughs> and anyways, he's talking to his friend who gives weird dialogue again. Yeah, so just because you read something in the weekly secret doesn't mean it's not true. Actually, it kind of does, Adam. Stop it. Get some help. Enjoy your weekend, dweeb. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Like, what? <laughs> I 
this scene is so funny to me. Like, <laughs> the computer is like, you've got mail. And then, you know, we have Tom Hanks comes out of the coffin. Just kidding. It, just kidding. Wrong, wrong movie. Wrong movie. Oh, is that actually no? We need to get one more thing. What's that? Well, we don't know, but it's around here. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> uh, that'll convince her. Mom's got a date with a vampire. Oh my God! He said the name of the movie in the movie. Yeah! <laughs> They're all headless horseman shirts. Like. All of them. He has like tons of them. And he decides to change his shirt. Like he has a yellow one on already. And then he changes it to a red one. He's like, oh, what? You know, and, and it's just really funny. Like I was like dying. Oh my God. So now he's like, oh shit. We just messed up. Like he really is an actual vampire. It, it, it's not the best lip syncing. She straight up rejects his ass. <laughs> Thank you. You must feel some deep, powerful attraction to me. I'm sorry, Dimitri. It's just some people just don't click. They find the coffin, and it's funny because it's like really heavy. They act like it's like really heavy. Uh, but then they're able to like completely just yeet it out this window. <laughs> but then lo and behold, who shows up but Taylor. And uh, this <laughs> what he does when he shows up. <laughs> Yay, we, we got a vampire now we all go out for breakfast because that's what you do, like, right? I mean, I know after I go hunt vampires. I have chocolate chip pancakes, but. So if that looked fun or funny or interesting or anything at all, um, you can see the whole video if you become a patron. Uh, even patrons on the lowest tier that is $3 a month have access to the TerraTube video. So you're not missing anything. Just if you're not on the highest tier. You get it all. And I have a whole lot of fun making these videos. A lot of time and effort goes into them and I really enjoy them. So uh, I would really hope that you guys would at least, you know, join just so you can check that stuff out. Cause I, you know, I do it for you guys. It's fun. Uh, there's some other episodes there too, other than the movie review. But you know, if the movie review goes great and you guys really like it, I have some other uh, lesser known movies that I would like to review too that I don't see on YouTube very often, but Basically, you can head to patreon.com slash Jackie Armand and you can check out the TerraTube or any other things on there that uh, extra spooky fun things. Um, but anyway, I guess with all of that being said, uh, we can just go ahead and get into the video. Let's go. All right, guys, we're in the handy dandy craft room. By the way, I actually forgot to mention in uh, the intro that um i really appreciate everybody who came to our live who came and watched our live stream that we did last weekend or not least last weekend the weekend before uh it was really fun i had a whole lot of fun i definitely have some plans for some other ones i apologize that it ended up being on sunday instead of saturday uh night i think that um kind of made it hard for some of y'all to attend and i feel really bad about that but promise I will, you know, uh, be better prepared next time <laughs> so that, uh, you know, more of you guys can, can join in and uh, all of that stuff. But I had a lot of fun. Ignore the mess of the craft room behind me. I'm sure it looks really messy. You know, we cleaned it up for the uh, live stream. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, it's one of those things that um, I'm sure everyone else, everyone who has like a craft space uh, agrees with this, but it's just like, I don't know what it is. The rest of our house is pretty, <clears throat> pretty organized. But when it comes to my craft stuff, I just, you know, I just become basically Gort from Halloween Town too. You stink like a Cromwell and I want you out of my cottage. Okay, okay. 
nice court. <laughs> but uh, anyway, all right, so I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I got. Hold on. <laughs> all right, so my first idea, so a lot of the things I saw on Pinterest about of like, if, if I saw a tutorial or, or a blog or anything that explained like how they did this, most of the people on there made the, the head or the flower, uh, the mouth, like they paper mache it, but that takes too long. <laughs> so my idea, so I went to Pop Shelf, which I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. Um, I don't know if they're everywhere. We just got one recently. Um, it's kind of like a five below, if you know what that is, but a little bit nicer. Uh, they've got like lots of stuff. The prices are similar to five below, but like there's just even more things and like nicer things or whatever. I'm sure you could probably find a lot of this stuff at the dollar store too. Uh, but I went to Pop Shelf because things were cheap. So <clears throat> I found these bowls. They were each like three bucks and they are just like plastic party bowls or whatever. And my idea is that I can kind of do this to make the mouth, right? And I don't think I'm gonna glue them together cause that's just probably gonna be a disaster, but we've got some like clear packing tape that is like really strong. So I think I might use that. I would have done duct tape had these not been clear bowls, but they're clear. So uh, clear tape is probably the best way to go, but I, I think I'm gonna tape them like this to make the mouth, right? I feel like that's the easiest way to achieve that look. Um, then for like the stem, I'm just gonna use a paper towel roll. <laughs> I, I will probably stuff it with something, either polyfill or I have a lot of like fabric scraps that aren't gonna get used that I might stuff in there to kind of bulk it up so it's not, you know, hollow. But I think this will work. These bowls aren't super heavy because at first I thought I would use a dowel or a PVC pipe even, which I mean, you probably do. But I think that this is not super heavy, these bowls, and it might be okay. Especially if I bulk this up, it might be enough to support it. Um, so that's gonna be for like the, the structure for the stem. For the leaves, I just got some green felt, which again, I got at Pop Shelf, it was like, I don't know, less than a dollar. Um, I only need a little bit. I'm, I think I'm gonna cut the leaves and sandwich them with some floral wire, just like a little line of floral wire so I can manipulate the leaves and make them like cool shaped or whatever. Uh, so I didn't need a whole lot, just a little bit of felt for that. And then, I just got a terracotta pot to put them in. Uh, this was, I think, from actually from Hobby Lobby and it was only $3. And I think it was actually even cheaper than that because the floral stuff was on sale. Lydia, Lydia, no, stop it. I, I picked, you know, they had a bunch of different ones, but I like the one with the lip on it because it makes it look more like the warp tube, which is what, kind of what I'm going for. So, and then I'll just paint this green. Um, and this is where the stem will go in and everything. And then to cover the head, uh, I got, I actually got some more craft foam because I used all the red when I made those uh, crates. <laughs> cause at the time I was like, it doesn't matter what color these are cause the crates are getting painted. And that was true, but I didn't think ahead on further projects when I, or else I wouldn't have used all of the red foam, but whatever, it's fine. This was also from Pop Shelf and it was 99 cents so, per sheet. Uh, and I don't think I'm gonna need that much. I'm gonna just cover this, the head with it around the head. Uh, I don't really know how I'm gonna do that. It's gonna have to be in a couple pieces. I'm hoping that I can use the white, which I also got some white. And you know, when I put the dots on, it'll cover those seams and any ugly spots. Uh, but like I said, no tutorial. So I'm just gonna kind of figure it out and see how I can cover it to look the best. I did see one that where they just use felt because I guess maybe that was easier to glue felt to it. But I don't know. I like the way the craft foam looks better. Uh, and so I don't know if the craft foam doesn't work, then maybe I'll buy foam. I'll actually buy some felt or something. But 
Yeah, the, the white will be for the spots that are on the piranha plant, plus the lip, like the lips are usually white, and then the teeth, because I'm gonna just have some teeth on it. Uh, and then I got green uh, craft foam, uh, foam sheets um, to cover the sim. So, oh, oh, and then uh, the last thing is, so I wanted something to go in the pot, right? Because I kind of wanted it to look like, I guess, soil or something that the plant is coming out of. Uh, and I was just going to get some, like, I don't know, round black beads or something, like wh whatever those like stones are that usually you put in like f fake plants or whatever. But then I found at Hobby Lobby, these, they're those melting beads uh, that you buy to make little shapes and then you like iron it and it melts it. And I don't know, just for some reason when I looked, I don't know if y'all y'all can see this. Yeah, you can see it. The way they look, it kind of looks like pixels, you know? So I felt like this would look like pixelated dirt. So I think that that is going to work. I think I bought enough to fill an, just enough of this jar. Um, I'm probably going to maybe put this up on something in here so that it's not all the way at the bottom. I don't know what, maybe some a foam block or something. Uh, and so it might not need that much to fill up in here, but uh, this wasn't too too expensive. I got it when it was on sale too. So I mean, if I had to buy some more, it's not the end of the world, but I thought this was a cool idea for, uh, for the soil. But anyway, so yeah. So I think my first goal, the first hurdle will be to get this thing taped up the uh, way I want and glue the red stuff uh, to the outside and everything, make it look good. I'm not gonna put the stem on until this is completely covered because I just feel like that will be harder. But yeah, if I can get the head done, I think that is the biggest hurdle of figuring out because I feel like that might take some figuring out and might take another day if it doesn't go the way I want it to and I have to buy more supplies or something. Um, and then, I don't know, I might start painting this just so that it can dry and see if I need any more green paint or not. Uh, I'm hoping just one coat will be enough. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, those, that's probably the steps for today. If I can get more done than that, then great. But that's the goal I'm setting for myself so I don't get pissed off if something doesn't work out the way I want it to work out. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, and all right, I'll see, we'll, we'll get started. So I'm actually not going to bore you guys too much with this uh, because, spoiler alert, it didn't work. <laughs> um, I tried everything I could think of. I did it in two pieces, I, but I it just didn't want to lay on there right because, you know, it's foam. And I had lots of pleats in it and everything and it just wasn't looking good. So ultimately I scrapped it, the idea, I decided to stop. Um, and gave up on it and pretty much just went ahead and worked on the rest of the things I had to do, like painting the pot. So, uh, like I said, I'm not going to bore you guys with watching this because it didn't work. Um, and, uh, we're just gonna go on to the next thing. <laughs> okay.
Hey everybody, uh, it is day two of the project. Um, yeah, as you saw, uh, the foam on the head of the piranha plant didn't work out. <laughs> um, and as you can see, it looks like hot garbage. <laughs> um, but that's okay, because we're gonna fix it. You know, I didn't let it discourage me. Uh, I just quit while I was ahead here um, and went ahead and did at least get some other things done. I got the stem done here and the leaves finished. And then, of course, I painted the pot, which in my opinion looks really freaking cool. Um, I actually like love the way this turned out and uh, I was just gonna, you know, leave it green, but I thought I could, I can make that look cooler. Um, so I kind of did like an, made it look like the 8-bit kind of way that the, the, the warp tube looks in Mario, which I wasn't sure how it was gonna work out because, you know, this does taper down and you have to have a really steady hand and make sure it kind of looks straight or else it's gonna look like crap, but I think this turned out awesome. So this has got me really excited about it. So, so basically the plan uh, I'm, I have is I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and get some felt to cover this instead. Or fleece, my bad, fleece, not felt. I felt like fleece is a little stretchier and I might be able to get it to go around this easier. And I think also the the problem I ran into that I didn't even think about yesterday uh, when I was making this was that I really, if I gotta pleat things, I need to pleat them around the mouth because then that way I can cover it with the white and you won't see any of the pleats. I didn't even think about that and I that was part of my problem is I was making pleats down here at the bottom and that's gonna show. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get some fleece to cover this uh, and then we'll put the white spots on with the, the craft foam and do the lips uh, around the mouth and the teeth, and then we'll, we'll be done. Um, but uh, I thought about ripping off all this foam too, but I think I'm gonna leave it because it kind of helps, bul it helped bulk it a little bit and give it a better shape because, you know, these bowls do have flat bottoms on them. And so this did kind of help make it rounder and give it the shape that it needs. So I think it'll be fine, especially if the fleece is really thin. It's not gonna bulk it up any further. I think it'll be okay. So, here's hoping. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a quick trip to Hobby Lobby, get some fleece, and come back here and hopefully get this dang thing finished. So, all right, let's go.
making with jive for big shot. When it hits you, yes, me. Yes, 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 you shot. When it hits you, yes, me. Yes, 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 yes. When it hits you, yes, me. Yes, 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 you shot. When it hits you, yes. It's done! Look at it! It's so cool! Now, <laughs> I mean, it it looks it looks homemade, but it's okay, you know, I, I'm not mad at it. Um, obviously, I don't have any candy in there. I think it looks really cool. I think it, I achieved what I wanted. It looks, we know what it is. You know, it's the piranha plant, it looks cool. And like I said, there'll be like the little atomic fireball hard candies in there. I think that'd be cute. 
And you know, maybe after all, after the party's over, I can just get rid of this top part and I can at least use this pot to actually plant like some succulents in or something like that. I think that would be kind of cool. So yeah, overall, pretty good. Um, I think the only thing I didn't really film was attaching this. Um, I mean, obviously I accidentally forgot to film gluing the leaves on, but I mean, you guys, I just glued them on. Um, <clears throat> one in the front, one in the back. Uh, and I did not film how we attached the pole here to the thing. And it was mostly just because we were trying to figure it out. I didn't even really think about it, like how I was gonna attach that. I thought maybe that this would be light enough to just, it could be glued. But this top part is a little heavy. I mean, it's not super heavy. Now with this bottom part that's got a lot of stuff in it, it doesn't feel heavy, but it just, it did compared to this. So I would say maybe using a PVC pipe would probably be best because that's stronger. This was like, you know, didn't feel quite like it was gonna be strong enough to hold this up. So <clears throat> basically what we did off camera was my husband just got his Dremel tool that he has and he just cut a small hole that was the size of this in the outer bowl because you know, there's two bowls on top of each other. So it was like the outer bowl that he just cut a hole in and cut through the felt. And I just, we just shoved it in there. So it was like a tight hole and I, I mean, I glued uh, on the top of the stem here and stuck it in there and held it so that it was glued to the bowl and then on the inside and then really reinforced the outside uh, around the crack with a lot and a lot and a lot of glue. And uh, that seemed to work. Um, that seemed to hold, it was a tight enough fit and with all the glue, it seemed like it, it held, it's holding really good right now. Um, so. And then also <clears throat> on the inside here, uh, I did glue this to the bottom of the pot because the bottom of the pot had a little hole in it and I wanted that to not be there because I was filling it with beads that were gonna just fall through the hole. So I glued it there, but then also I got some cardboard. I just cut some cardboard that I had from like a cardboard box and made like these little triangles, like these little fins and glued them kind of all around the sides of the stem to kind of give it more structure and to like hold it in there. Uh, and that seemed to kind of help it stay upright. So it wasn't just a little bit of glue holding it in. And then I also had some extra filler beads that from like another project another time that were like heavier and bigger black ones. And I put those at the bottom in between each of the little fins just so that there's like something heavier down in the bottom that could, you know, support it a little bit more. And then I just filled the rest with these like little beads. But so, and I think that works really well. I think it's, it feels very, you know, it's not, it's heavy on the bottom. It doesn't feel top heavy. I will say though, <laughs> I am nervous about somebody accidentally bumping it because it's one of those things where it's not exactly top heavy, like it's standing on its own just fine. But if somebody was to accidentally just bump it, it's gonna fall over because this is so much bigger on top. So I don't know, Chris was like, maybe I can find a way to attach it to something like a base before we set it out. But but other than that, it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I could have probably made the circles, maybe a little, the dots maybe a little bit smaller. I was just trying to make them big so that they could hide any of the seams and stuff uh, from the fabric. But I will say that the fleece definitely was the way to go. Um, should have done that first, probably. And then it wouldn't have been as thick and probably heavy actually. So maybe if you're doing this at home, maybe just use the fabric to cover it. And then, you know, you can use the foam for the mouth and the teeth. That seemed to work really well, but, but yeah, I think overall, um, I'm pretty proud of it. I mean, there's some things I would have done differently. I just don't feel like starting over and I think it looks pretty good. It gets the point across. It's just a candy holder. So I'm overall happy with it. Pretty happy with it. But uh, yeah, so, you know, 
If you guys stuck around to the end of the video, thank you. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me make this and maybe it'll give you inspiration to make it for something. If you have a Mario themed party or whatever. And you know, as always, if you liked it, um, then give it this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. Uh, as far as new videos go, I think I'm gonna do a little Halloween-y craft next. Um, I have something that's in our Halloween bin of decorations that I've been wanting to update and make look better. Uh, it's something we bought, it kind of broke. I've been meaning to fix it, but then also in thinking about fixing it, I was like, I could probably make it look better than what we bought at the store. So that will probably be the next video. Um, I'm trying to, like I said, sprinkle some like just regular Halloween -y videos in between these video game videos, even though they're cool, I love them. But I mean, this is a Halloween channel and this isn't technically Halloween-y stuff. It is because it's for a Halloween party, but it's not specifically Halloween-y. So I wanna give you all some actual Halloween-y stuff. Plus, as much fun as this stuff is, doing Halloween-y stuff puts me more in a mood for Halloween <laughs> uh, than this stuff, even though this is fun, but, and then I don't know, I'll, I'll have to figure out what maybe the next project for the Halloween party will be that I need to do before I start on the invitations, because putting the invitations together will probably be something in September that I work on, but you know, that's like a month away. Uh, I got time, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that's probably what's coming next. And uh, like I said, I will always leave links uh, in the description of this video to my uh, social media, my Instagram and TikTok. Uh, where lots of things that maybe don't make it to YouTube end up there. Uh, lots of progress pictures sometimes for projects like this end up there. And, you know, I will probably work on some projects for this, this Halloween party that don't take a lot of time or really quick and I'm not gonna actually make a video for them because they're so quick. And that stuff will probably end up on Instagram or TikTok. So you can kind of see more projects there that don't have a video. Um, and uh, oh, I'll also, also I'll leave a link to my Etsy shop uh, where I make lots of other spooky Halloween-y things all year long, mostly witchy prop, prop potions and stuff. So if you're thinking about putting an order in for this Halloween season, now is a good time. August is usually when they really start coming in the orders for me. So earlier the better to get stuff in so you can get things buy Halloween or buy your party or whatever. Also, uh, of course, if you um, want to support this channel in a little more personal way than just hitting that subscribe button and watching my videos, uh, I have a Patreon, like I've said. Anything helps so much. Like I said, just $3 a month is like a huge, huge help. It helps support this channel, helps us, you know, buy new equipment or better equipment uh, and just keep doing and supplies and things like that to just help us make this channel great and better in the long run. And, you know, also goes towards more treats for Lydia, which I'm sure she appreciates. <laughs> and, uh, and of course there's along with having the satisfaction of helping us out at this channel. Uh, there's extra goodies there, lots of fun stuff, things you can get in the mail, and, you know, extra content. Like I said, the Terror Tube episodes are there, which are super fun for me to make. Um, I'm still plan planning the next one, so I'm not exactly sure when I'll record that, but another one will be up sometime soon, so... You know, please, please check those out. Uh, those videos are really fun for me to make. They're very time consuming. I put a lot of effort into them uh, and they're just a lot of fun. So I, it would mean a lot if you guys would watch those. And like I said, it supports us by, by being a patron and watching those videos. It helps these videos. <laughs> And then, oh, and of course, if you're looking for something to do in between my videos, uh, I have two books on Amazon. Uh, one is a zombie romance and one is a vampire adventure story. They're both available as paperback and Kindle versions, and you can read a little bit of the Kindle version before you buy it to see if it's your thing or not. Uh, I'm also in the works of a third book and sneak peek of 
like there are two sneak peek chapters out uh, for that. One of them is on my author website, which I will leave a link to. And another chapter is on my author Facebook page, which I will also leave a link to. Uh, and it is about a young woman who's possessed by a demon. So I am almost done writing that. I'm very, very close. Uh, and so, yeah, read about that. Get excited. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So, um... I guess uh, everybody just stay spooky and I will see you in my next video. Bye.